What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So before we jump into today's video, make sure you jump down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit us up on Instagram, hit us up on TikTok, see what's going on over there. And don't forget to check out our All Powers R600 Power Station giveaway. The video is down in the description. All you need to do is jump over to that video when you get some time, like the video, be a subscriber, comment where you're from, We'll pick a winner for one of those power stations on Halloween. So you got just a few more days to do that. Check out our sponsor, Kiwanu Gear, kiwanu.com. Use promo code FSREVIEW. It's going to get you 10% off orders over $30 and see what they got going on over there. What's up, guys? So today we're going to be reviewing the Weston Stores Heated Vest. Now, about a month ago, they reached out to me said, hey, we really like what you're doing on your channel. Would you mind reviewing one of our products? And I said, absolutely. They sent me over this heated vest, or they let me choose, but I chose the heated vest. I feel like this is going to do me better for what I like to do. Um, I like to wear a vest underneath my shells um, for extra warmth. My arms are free to draw my bow back, shoulder my gun, all of that good stuff. Um, they offer socks. They offer toboggans, jackets, vest, a little bit of everything. But this is what I keyed in on because I felt like this is something my audience would really like. You, um, This is primarily a Sitka channel, but I think this is going to go really well with some Sitka systems, especially those of you that get cold easy. Um, this is going to help generate more heat for you. So I chose the vest. It's 100% polyester. It's a um, puffy jacket style vest. Um, doesn't weigh too much. Um, it does have your two hand pockets zipped down the front. And um, like I said, it, it's a very bare bones vest when you just look at it. But what's special about it is it has um, heating capabilities. So you're going to be able to, it's going to come with a small battery pack that you already have in here. And it's a little smaller than an iPhone. It's a little bit heavier because it's a, a battery, but it's a little bit smaller than an iPhone. It's going to have a little compartment down in the waist. And you're going to be able to turn that on and off. You're going to be able to charge it. and um, this is going to heat the entire vest. So your question is probably, where all does it heat? Well, it heats in like eight different places. It's going to heat right here in the front, right and left, come about up to your sternum, and then around back, we flip it around, you're going to get across the neck, which is my favorite part. Like it warms up across the neck, across the back, down the spine, and then two more down here on your kidneys. So they really thought about um, where you need the warmth, right? If you're really, really cold, you need that warmth down around your kidneys. You need that on the back of your neck. Just it's um, it's really thoughtful in the places that they have the warmth, and it really does work. Um, I really do like it. I've been using it. Actually, I love it. I, I actually um, love just wearing this vest, and then I can just turn on the heat, give me a little extra warmth. I come in from the gym, my back's a little bit sore. Oh, across the lower back, let that thing heat up. Um, I've used it in the field a few times. I've worn it underneath my stratus and does great. Um, doesn't inhibit me draw my bow at all. So when it's underneath that stratus, it's very uh, quiet. So I really like it. Um, so let's talk just a second about the heating capabilities and how you heat with it. Um, so like we said, we have the battery pack connected. It's, it's just, you would unzip this. It's just inside here. It's just a small black box. You can take it out. Charger with a USB-C charger, easy peasy. Um, to turn it on, we have our button right here, you know, like a little Iron Man button, which I think that's pretty cool. Hold it down for three seconds, and it should start. Um, it should turn red, and it's going to kind of it's going to pulsate red. And what that is is red is its highest setting. And if you don't touch it again, if you just leave it here, it's going to pulsate for five minutes, and it's going to heat on high. Well, after that five minutes, it's going to drop down to heat like a constant temperature, a constant um, medium temperature it has three temps. It has red, which is its highest temp, which is about 131 degrees. Second is going to be white. That's its medium. It's going to be 113. And then blue is going to be its lowest setting, which is 95. If you're doing a long sit in the stand, 95 would be awesome. But it's going to kind of, it's like an oven. It's going to start warming up. It's going to warm up. Um, this is its highest setting. After five minutes, it's going to drop down to the medium. And that's where it's going to stay unless you change it. If you want to keep it on high, all you simply do, click it one time. Very quiet button, by the way. It's very, very smooth to use. And that's just going to stay on high. 
Obviously, if it's on high, it's gonna you're gonna cook a little more. 130 degrees is pretty warm, and it's gonna use that battery a little bit more. I have not run the battery out yet. I've used this thing for several hours. I haven't run the battery out. The red is gonna be your 131 degree setting. Click it one more time. See, nice and smooth. We go to our white. That's gonna be 113. That's pretty warm. Um, that's that's a good temperature to be at. Um, and then one more time, it's gonna drop you to blue. Um, doesn't mean it's cooling. It's still 95 degrees, um, but it's just going to be, you know, about 40 degrees cooler than the highest setting. And this guy will just go and um, you're able to do the activities that you want. You have a little bit of extra, especially for those long static hunts, right? You're in the stand for an all day rut sit. You start getting a little chilly. Fine. Pop that thing on, heat up a little bit and you can turn it off. And all you need to do to turn it off is the same way as you turn it on. Hold the power button now for like three to five seconds and it should go off. Um, the uh, charging battery down in here also has an on and off button. So when you after you charge it, you slide down and just turn it on. Uh, no worries there. And I know what some of you guys are going to ask me, what if it gets wet? That's fine. If it gets wet, my suggestion and their suggestion is to unhook the uh, battery power or the battery pack and let the vest dry. I have not taken a dip in it. Sorry, I haven't done that yet. But um, obviously disconnect the power. But I mean, for what it is, like I said, it looks like a very unassuming bare bones type of vest, but I think that's great for layering under something. And then you have the capabilities to turn on some heat to get yourself warmed up. Those are, here's, here's the thing that I'm, I was thinking. Those of you that are trying to take your kids and your wives hunting, this is a great, great idea. You know, let them throw this on. Honey, you're getting cold or one of the kids are getting cold. Pop this thing on. Let it warm them up. The longer you're comfortable, the longer you're going to stay in the stands. All right, everybody. So I want to give you a quick look on the inside and inner workings of this vest. So if we unzip the vest on the left-hand side, you're going to see the pocket where the battery pack is. It's going to give you all the instructions about using it. So if we take the battery pack out. You see the cabling that's going to connect it. We simply disconnect. Power button is on the left-hand side. You have our USB-C port to charge it. This power button here is going to, you're going to have your bars here. I have two bars of power left on it. When you charge it, you'll be able to see it go all the way to four. You'll know that it's fully charged. When you're ready to put it back into the vest, we simply insert the port, drop it back into the pocket, zip it up. Now we are ready to go. Once again, we simply hold this down for up to three to five seconds. Boom, starts glowing red. Oven is preheating. One thing that you want to know, when you put this vest up for the summertime, you're not going to use it for a while, make sure you disconnect that battery pack. All right, guys, so I hope you like my rundown of the Weston Store heated vest. I can honestly say when I first started seeing these electronic heated uh, clothing, the jackets and vests and gloves, and I thought it was a little gimmicky. They sent me this and I absolutely love it. I really do. Um, I cannot wait for those all day sits in the stand or in the blind so I can really, really enjoy this thing. Um, so make sure you check them out. I'm going to put the, um, their website down in the description. Head over there. Get yourself geared up before the rut kicks in, before duck season kicks in. Um, this guy is really going to make you more comfortable. You know what we always say, the longer you're in the field, the more successful you're going to be. So make sure you check them out. Um, don't forget, we still have the giveaway going on in the power station. Uh, that The link to that video is in the description. Thank you guys for stopping by and we'll see you guys next time.